What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to my Asker free to play guide for Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic. For the Infernal difficulty, we don't really need anything else than the story mode units and you don't really need any kind of skill inheritance or secret seals on them, just their base kits. So we actually have a remixed Legendary Marth on this map to activate slotsy skill of Asker, so that is definitely kind of funny. So you can have your ear right above Regan and then have Ash in the range of these two enemies have Regan in the range of this red mage and then we can teleport and dance up Regan so that we can take out this very obnoxious wind sweep and colorless feud red mage. So getting uh, that mage out of the way is really helpful for our Ash and Air otherwise that mage is really annoying and Air cannot really outspeed that mage and that mage can just get the free damage. So the sword infantry unit does have instant sword so that's why he doesn't get auto doubled by Ash. We can go ahead and just take him out. And then you can go ahead and take out this green flyer with your Regan. And you want to Kanto to the right side of Peony so that he can give the orders buff to Air as well after dancing. And that allows us to attack this blue Fafnir safely with Air. And then we can just uh, take this blue Fafnir out with Sather Shell. So these two enemies, this Axe Cavalier and this blue Fridge are going to be attacking and they do have Resonance Shield, which does give them the follow-up negation for their first combat. But still, Ash can just take them out on Infernal, so that is really good. So now Asker and Marth are just charging towards us. So first of all, what you want to do is just put your air one space down. And then just teleport all the way to the left side with Regan. And then dance up your Regan and just kill this blue thief. So that is definitely helpful because that thief does have... Uh, fatal smoke. You wanna retreat all the way down with Regan and then just have Ash beside Peony. So Asker is gonna be going down and then Marth is gonna be chasing after Air. Marth is like the side boss of this map pretty much. So you, now you wanna go ahead and take out this uh, Green Cavalier with your Regan and Kanto all the way back. And then you wanna have your Air behind this pillar. Marth does have even Tempest, but we should be fine. So you can just have Ash over here and then Peony behind Regan. So again, your uh, enemy, Asker, is going to be going down and then Marth is going to be chasing on the right side of the map. Now, for some reason, if the AI movement is different for you, then you probably didn't follow the order of my movements because uh, they do matter. And make sure the team order is also the same when you enter the map. I always say that. So now we have this Ask over here and Marth like this. So you can just teleport with Air over here and then dance up Air like this. And that is going to be giving the orders buff to Ash. And now we can have some really nasty teleportation shenanigans. So you can have Air teleport right above Regan and bait out this Green Mage who does have the Serpent Home. Isn't really that threatening to be honest. So our entire team is on the left side now and Marth and this blue bat is on the right side. Alright, so time to take out this blue bat. We can go ahead and attack with air. And then just dance up after moving Regan. So we can dance up and just take out this blue bat. And then we can have our Ash be in the range of Marth because he's going to be getting uh, the even Tempest. It's much easier to tank Marth than it is to tank a bonfire from Asker. And Ash can actually survive Marth pretty easily on the Infernal difficulty. So now what we can do is simply just take out Marth with Regan and her Sather Shell. So that is really good. We can just do that. The damage reduction from Regan's weapon is going to be really helpful. And then we can just go ahead and take out this Sword Cavalier over here. And we can go over here and actually just have Ash teleport um, over to this side and then just take out this Sword Cavalier with our Regan. Asker is absolutely alone so he doesn't really have his weapon or his Lotsy skill active so that makes it really easy and even our air can just kill him off with Iceberg. And that is going to be able to take out Asker pretty easily and that is going to be your infernal solution. Pretty easy to do with the free to play units without any kind of sacred seal. And now let's move on to the big bad abyssal. For the big bad abyssal I have the same team and the same team order. I just need to have 
attack defense form on Ash, and that should be helping you a lot, especially if we see the end of Abyssal. That is required for her to survive Asker. So that is a very important Sacred Seal, and this is what is going to be helping you beat Abyssal, even with free to play units, despite Asker hitting so hard. And you don't really need any kind of Sacred Seal on anyone, they just need their base kit. Um, and that should be it. So only one Sacred Seal is needed for Abyssal and Attack Defense form. So Abyssal difficulty is also going to be proceeding a bit same as Infernal, but the um, AI movement is going to be different, so the solution is a bit different. So here on Abyssal, Asker has got Mystic Boost, so that is really annoying. And then Marth has got Darting Breath. So you want to start the same way as Infernal, by having air like this, and then having Regan over here so that he can dance her up and just take out this colorless feud windsweep mage otherwise like this mage is such a big pain so you want to retreat all the way back to peony and um ash is going to be still bulky for abyssal and attack defense form actually does help you quite a lot take out this infantry sword um so now we can go ahead and just take out the sword fighter by going over here and we can also just dance up ash and then go over here with Regan, attack this green flyer, and then go all the way over here with Regan and just finish this green flyer off yes. with here. And now, uh, because our Ash is uh, danced up, we can just attack this Lance Knight. They do have the Resonant Shield and Resonant Blades effect, so they are getting the extra stats on combat, which does make it a bit annoying. But because we already, um, you know, took down a lot of HP from that armor, we were not getting Panic Ployed at the very least. So this Axe Cavalier does survive because of the Resonant Shield's effect, unfortunately. So now we have this uh, Blue Thief over here, and because that Blue Fafnir has got Shield Speed, our Regan is debuffed. So what you want to do is over simply here? have Regan one space back and then dance her up with Peony. Yeah. So the debuff is gone now and you can actually double this Thief which is uh, really really needed. And then we can just have Air and Ash all the way back. So everyone is going to be retreating as if we're Death Knight. And now this Axe Cavalier is going to be going down. Alright so you want to go ahead and take out this uh, Green Cavalier who has got the Fox Tome. And then you again want to retreat all the way back with Kanto. And now you can just dance up your Regan and just have your Ash like this. And then have Air tank this Drawn Serpent Mage. We can also have uh, Regan over here so that we can activate the form skill uh, even more and have more allies in the range of Ash. So Bonfire is going to be finishing off that Axe Cavalier. And we also doubled this uh, Green Mage because the Serpent Home Mage has got a really weird build. So what you want to do now is actually go over here yes. with your air and then you want to have your Ash go over here and then yeah. move your Regan all the way to the left side so yeah. that you can give the dance buff and also give the um, you know flower of joy buff to your Ash because that is really needed so that we can do extra damage to this sturdy impact bat. Uh, definitely reminds me of the sprite of Subat from Black and White. <laughs> so now we have um, this uh, bat transformed with Dive Bomb. So you want to attack this bat with your ear. And then you want to dance up your ear. And you want to go ahead and just take out this bat with your Ash. And then move your ear all the way over here. And then just move your ear to the right side of Ash. And now Regan can be in the safe position as well. So Ash is getting the full buff of attack defense form. And Marth is going to be getting the even Tempest. But Ash can survive that thankfully. And Marth's skills are not active in the enemy phase if he's not within two spaces of an ally. So we can take advantage of that. It's kind of weird how they gave him the bond for skill. Which, you know, doesn't have the greatest synergy with the <laughs> unity effect. It's like really funny. Almost on purpose. So now, um, you know, Martha is debuffed, he's not going to be getting any kind of unity effect, and he's also not getting any kind of effect from Bond 4, so we can just take out Marth pretty easily, and then just have our Regan go over here. So yeah, this uh, Asker is going to be going over here, that's fine, we can just attack Asker with our ear, do amazing zero damage, 
and then go over here to dance up here and then we can actually get some damage off with the iceberg and then you want to move your Regan right behind air so that the attack defense form of Ash is fully fully active and here Ash is going to be showing no mercy to her lord and she's going to be taking out Asker <laughs> even though she just asked Asker to guide her so yeah with the attack defense form you're able to survive this bonfire this path must open And that is going to be it for the Big Bad Abyssal. <laughs> Got the cow kill on the bull. So that is exactly what I wanted. So I hope this Abyssal guide can help you. If it, um, you know, has some kind of issues, then let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you. And other people will as well. But as long as you're following my movements, um, you know, absolutely to the T, it shouldn't really be a problem. Um, so now let's move on to the Lunatic Solution. For the Lunatic difficulty, you don't really need to have any kind of Sacred Seals or Skill Inheritance. And we don't have that Red Mage on this map. So that is one less annoying enemy to take care of. Especially the one with the Colorless Feud. So you want to start by actually having Air in the range of these units. And then you want to move your Ash on the right side. Have Regan move over here and just dance her up so that we can take out this uh, Sword Infantry unit on the turn 1. And you want to Kanto um, actually to the right side so that we can let our Ash transform. Unfortunately, even on the Lunatic difficulty, this uh, Green Mage doesn't really die to <laughs> air. So now we can go ahead and just take out this uh, Lance Knight, which is definitely pretty helpful. And then we can go ahead and take out this Green Flyer. We can also take out this Axe Cavalier before he gets any kind of buffs from Asker. And we can just teleport like this and just dance up here and have her right beside Peony. So we're going to be baiting out this uh, Blue Fafnir who does have that chill speed, which is affecting Regan. But we should be fine. So we can charge up our Sather Shell over here, which is really great. So that is going to be helping us take out Marth on the next turn, actually. And then you want to retreat all the way back and actually just have your Ash transform. So we can also attack Marth pretty easily with uh, the Iceberg for some damage. And now the Sather Shell is ready to take out this Marth and that is going to be it. And now we can just have Regan like this and dance up everyone. So actually on the Lunatic difficulty, um, Asker is a lot easier to, you know, deal with because he's not going to be doubling you and you can just take him out pretty easily. So now all you want to do is pretty much go ahead and just take out this uh, green mage over here. And we're going to be, you know, getting some damage done, but that's fine. We can also have our Ash go over here and just take out this blue bat. And the Green Mage is really not a threat whatsoever. So even Peony is going to be fine. We can just have our Regan on the right side. And we do <laughs> no damage whatsoever. But that's fine. We can now go ahead and take out this Sword Cavalier. And then finish off this, uh, this Green Mage Cavalier. So that is going to be a one shot and that is going to be your free to play guide for Asker's Mythic Hero Battle. So make sure to share this video with your friends if they're trying to beat this map. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps it tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using Super Thanks or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more fave videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as annoying as the Colorless Feud Red Mage. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.